What's going on YouTube today? I'm going to be showing you guys my full complete setup. If you are a person out there that has been curious about starting your journey as a barber, I'm going to put all the tools down that I would use if I were to start today. I'm going to go over the full complete, I guess you could say bundle because I know the pricing on these tools might be too expensive for you guys. So stick around for the end of the video. I'll be breaking down a more simple tool setup that you guys can use just to start your career as a barber. So the very start of a haircut you guys will be needing a xanax strip and a barber cape so luckily i got a little gift from jrl got this we got this so the next thing that we'll be using obviously for a haircut you're going to be needing your trimmer your clipper and your shaver first one is my babless pro lithium fx clipper comes straight out of the box like that jrl these are zero gap i basically just use it for blending you know, for anything, for erasing the zero line and doing any hard work, that's what I require my hard clipper to do. My Babyliss Pro Lithium FX Trimmer that I did zero gap, which I use it to place any hard line. It's good for sharp lines, lineups, beards, designs, whatever you wanna do with your hard trimmer. My Gamma Evo X Trimmer, that's my soft trimmer. I don't zero gap it, I use it to set guidelines and it makes it easier for me to blend out that zero line. So once you have your clipper and your trimmer situation figured out, I use three different types of shavers. So this is a Bronze Series 9, the Uno Gamma Shaver, single foil, and the FX3 double foil shaver. So first, this one is probably the best shaver in the market. I highly recommend it because it just cuts down bulk real fast. You guys can easily bald out that line with this shaver. So if you're doing mid fades, high fades, definitely this is the best shaver to use in terms of time. My second go-to is a double foil shaver shaver you guys can use this for mid tapers like mid low phase drop phase and by far this is the lightest weight and it has just the most power personally i just like it the last thing that i use is my single foil shaver which just allows me to go in those really tight spots in terms of like doing low fade low taper this is your go-to so you guys definitely need these three shavers so while transitioning in between steps, you guys are obviously gonna need a duster, cool care, and a comb. This is to lubricate and to disinfect your tools. Before going from client to client, make sure you guys spray your equipment and make sure you're as sanitary as possible. You guys will be needing a duster to wipe down your client clean. Make sure that all your work is nice and clean and organized. You guys need a little comb to brush down the clipper or your trimmer. And my favorite combs right now are these two. The quality on these combs is pretty crazy. And the YS Park combs are my favorite, best quality. And I also like using the Oster, a little thicker clipper over comb. It just gives you a lot more room to make errors. The thicker the comb right here on the side, the more error and the more that you guys can go in without really just butching your client. So once you're done fading, you're your client might ask for a trim on top. Obviously, you guys will be needing a water bottle spray. These are some shears and thinning shears. The brand is ULG. If you don't do that many shear cuts, don't worry so much about spending thousands of dollars on crazy expensive shears. And I just recently just tapped into using these feather razors by, I got it from Menspire by taking their course. You know, just go ahead and texturize hair with this. All right guys, so for enhancements or detail work, there's two types of compressors that you guys can get. You guys can get a wireless one or a stationary one. Typically the most efficient one is gonna be your stationary one, less efficient honestly from experience is wireless because it's not gonna pack the same amount of power as a stationary one for the compressor I like using the master airbrush or when you buy the tune 45 it'll come with another compressor cleaning these is a pain in the ass so you guys can go with the easier route using hair fibers tune 45 is the way to go they're the cheapest in the market and the best in the market depending on your style of fading depending on your style of hair cutting is the type of enhancements so that you guys are gonna be using you know this is just the easiest if you want to go bougie go wireless but I've spent way too much money on wireless shit, so just recommend going stationary. You guys will need blades to load your razors. I recommend Faded Culture blades. If you guys are interested, my code is David10 for a discount. So let me know if you guys even purchase these in the comment section, I appreciate it. To finish up your client, you guys will be needing some aftershave and some talk powder. So I go with the Whiskey Woods Finest Powder, talk powder, and the Level B Aftershave Cologne. 
personally, I like the smell of this and I like the smell of this and that's why I use them. So some styling products that you guys might wanna use, some hairspray, finishing touches, lineup, you know, it helps with just keeping hair in place. We got some faded culture hair gel. Sometimes you guys just wanna go quick and style. I'll throw a little pomade on your client and he's ready to go. I like the smell in this product, to be honest, in the hold. So shout out to Faded Culture. These guys are making some dope uh, dope products. With curly hair, I go with Cantu. I like this leave-in conditioner and I don't have the coconut curling cream. I think that's what it's called, but that's my go-to personally too. I like using these products for shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, shave gel. If you guys use shave gel, recommend Faded Culture. I mean, I don't use that much shave gel to be honest. I do a lot of dry shaves. You guys need straight razors. I use an exposed razor. I use this for specific things like sharper edges, design work, you know, where I want to see the blade. I want to know where the blade's hitting. So I use the exposed one. And I almost forgot guys about the guards. You guys need guards. You guys won't be able to fade without them. The wall premium guards have the best plastic in my opinion. And I just got used to them. And for sure, for sure, you guys need to purchase a 0.5 and a 1.5 guard separately. You guys will not be able to complete a fade without these two things. So everything's unorganized here. I threw everything on the table. I'm gonna put everything together. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how much every product costs and just keep all of the, almost the, just the necessary things that you guys need in terms of a very minimalistic setup. Bear with me guys, I don't wanna get grilled in the comment section for having the most expensive tools if you guys are interested in me making a more in-depth beginning barber bundle let me know down below and i'll make that for you guys let me go ahead and organize these things for you guys and i'll take things one by one so i can give you guys an idea of what kind of setup you guys can have if you guys are looking to save money So I hope that the price tag on this doesn't discourage anyone from actually becoming a barber. There's plenty of other tools that you guys can buy that are way cheaper than these tools. This is just kind of what I would do if money wasn't an issue and you guys just wanted to start barbering You guys were going to stay committed. And by tools, I mean kind of like your clipper setup, your shavers, the more expensive equipment. There's things on this list that you just can't avoid buying. So the total cost of this whole pro setup is approximately a thousand two fifty. The beginner side just includes mostly things that you need: the barber cape, the Xanax strip, a clipper, a trimmer, a shaver, cool care, a duster, a cutting comb, a spray bottle. You got shears, razor blades, guards, the half guard, the one and a half. You need some product, some shaving gel, a razor holder. And that's kind of like basically it. So that'll probably cost you around $560 for the example that I have set for this video. You guys can definitely decrease the cost of this. If you guys want me to make another video where I just go really specifically in the beginner side of things or more pro side, just let me know in the comment section. If you're from the OC LA area, make sure you guys click the link in the description if you guys want to book an appointment. And I'll catch you guys next week for more content. Peace.